I'm Ryan Schwartfager. I've been an Oakland resident since 1998. I joined the Communications Commission in the summer of 2017, and I've been its chairman since 2018. Fred really didn't want to keep leading the commission, so he was like, would you like to? You're young, you have ideas, you have some time. I'm willing to guide you and help you uh, if you want to do it. And I said, sure. I'll do it. I met Fred through the TV committee, and uh, he uh, implored me to join, knowing my background, TV production. And uh, here we are roughly 15 or so years later. Fred was certainly a bundle of energy. He always made the, being on the committee a lot of fun, and I was glad that I got to know him and his wife over the years. He brought that spirit to Oakland, to the TV committee. Hi, I'm Richard Kunz. I'm the Oakland Borough Administrator. So I met Fred in 2008 probably shortly after I started here at Borough Administrator. It was always an adventure working with Fred. Fred was a person of strong opinions and somebody who did not suffer fools. But he was he was fun to be around. He was always good for a story. He was a really sort of passionate advocate for the TV station and what it needed. It probably had something to do with a purchase for the control room. I already had some experience dealing with this general government bureaucracy, but, you know, Fred kind of opened my eyes to the other part of it, which is, you know, purchasing. That was something I never had to do. And, you know, I remember Fred saying, like, I love this job. I love doing this. But the purchasing is a pain in the whoop. And, you know, and I had no idea the whole side of purchasing, of what that involved with getting quotes, filling out a purchase order. Is it under the quote threshold? So like, those are all things that I didn't have experience with. And I really do credit Fred that he helped me with that. And to be honest with you, it probably helped me get my current job. Hi, uh, I'm Eric Kamala, the current mayor of the borough of Oakland. And I'm behind me, I'm standing in the TV studio because I thought it was really appropriate to do this piece because this is really a lot of Fred's work and his passion that he brought from the broadcast industry and the inception of the OCC. Fred was instrumental when they first stood up the studio in days of analog. And Oakland was one of the first towns to be able to televise the council meetings. And he was instrumental and also for the studio converting to high definition. And the equipment here that you see behind me and the crew is, is really thanks to Fred's hard work and his passion, his perseverance to get to where we are. So Fred, I just want to thank you for all your service to the borough of Oakland. You've been a real asset and, and really, Fred, you're going to be missed. You were a friend. This is someone who was a volunteer. He was a resident and he's someone who cared deeply about this operation and he wanted to know that it was going to be run well. We would spend so much time down here and that's when I really got to know Fred as a person. I got to know the equipment. I got to know how Fred and the equipment kind of speak together and work together. And you know, now that he's passed, it is kind of bittersweet when I come into this room now. You know, especially going forward, I'm going to remember that time that I had with, with Fred, you know, every time I walk in here. He is the George Washington of the Oakland TV Committee. He designed everything you see behind me, this entire control room, including the committee bylaws, the way we run it. His contributions to the Oakland TV Committee are immeasurable. To look around now in the studio where we're recording and realize that, you know, this is really his legacy. There's a reason that the room is named for him. This sort of setup is not common with a lot of towns. For mid-sized communities, this is something that I think a lot of towns would be envious of. Fred was really integral and really the driving force to make all of what we enjoy today possible. Yeah, just oh, hope for the best for his, his wife and his children. So I'm glad, hope that they can carry on his legacy because he was such a talented guy and a, a likable guy. I'll ever be forever indebted to Fred for, you know, you know, that onboarding that he gave me. You know, I will have that knowledge that Fred passed on to me from this place. And, you know, that's just stuff that you have to pay somebody to teach you. You know, if it wasn't for his efforts and time, it wouldn't be the way that it is. And that's why this room is very appropriately the Fred C. Burke's control room.